The bulls went on their own. I'm hurrying. Hey guys, so we are about to go try to move our bulls out of our big cow herd. We've got Iron Man and we have got Bruce. We need to get them worked out. This is, this is February 27th when we're filming this video. So if we pull them out today, we'll be having our last calf right around December 5th, no later than that. And that's pushing it a little bit. We need to get them out of there because we don't want calves to be born in December, January, and really we're leaning towards leaving them out where they won't be born in February either. In the past around here, a lot of people have calves born in February. We took a risk this last year and pushed it a little bit and did not put our bulls in as early. So our first calves will be born around March 5th this year which has worked out fantastic because last week we were negative nine degrees and there were lots of farmers around us struggling with calves being born, falling in ponds, uh, freezing before they hit the ground, things like that. So we didn't know that was gonna happen obviously, but it has just confirmed our decision to push it just a little bit, at least until March. A lot of our cows will not calve until April and that's fine as well. So we need to get them out of there, move them up here away from the cows so they won't get back in with them and we'll just see how this goes. So, not going 100% according to plan, but that's okay. We actually thought we might be able to just come get Bruce and Iron Man. Crazy thought. We thought it might work. But if that doesn't work and you're trying to separate some out of a big herd, your best bet is what we're doing right now and take them all. Don't even leave one behind because they'll all see that one and want to turn around. So if you're gonna take them all, you gotta take them all. And of course, the ones causing the problems are my milk cows. Phone call. Hello? Hello? If you'll stay, if you'll stay up here, he's using the drone down there. Okay, come up there with you? Yeah. Okay. So like I said, the milk cows are causing a problem. They're not the whole problem, but they're part of it. Just like you can spoil your kids or spoil your dog, you can spoil your cows. And that's what I've done. We're moving now. Using the old hot wire trick. Got them going. The kids got it going on. Emily's on one end, laying it down there on the other. They found the hay and we've got the wire taken down. Blondie, you go. Quit causing trouble. Quit causing trouble. We gotta get them moved past this hay pen that we took the wire down to use. Keep it coming, Em. Go! Go on, cows. Go on, Lucy. Go, 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 go. Keep coming, Em. Oh, 
Hold tight. Go to the fence. The bulls went on their own. <laughs> I'm hurrying. Get the gig. So they're going out there with Marvel and Miracle for a bit to hang out. And uh, if you remember when we ultrasounded, we could not confirm that Marvel was bred. Um, so hopefully they will take care of that. Miracle is, uh, but we'll just pay attention and see if they are checking out Marvel and how that goes and gives them a place to be out of the cow pasture. And I know we told you we're getting these out of there because we don't want calves in a certain window. The milk cows are a bit different because they have a barn. We can put them up in a stall no matter what the weather. They're always right up here close to the house. So we don't mind if they have calves all year round. In fact, we want that, we encourage that because that keeps us in milk at all times if we choose to milk. Uh, we don't have to milk, we keep the calves on them. So if there's a time, really bad weather or whatever, like last week, I didn't milk at all. That's the beauty of keeping your calves and calf sharing. You're not tied down to do it 365 days a year. Well, all the cameras are about dead. We still got to put out hay for the calves and then we're gonna call it a day. I think we are gonna say goodbye for now. Thank y'all for watching. Um, sometimes we don't know what to what to film except our everyday life. So that's what we're doing. Now it must continue. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Oh, bumpy ride, God bless.